255 here. What up, Deep Minds? This trailer, this gameplay of Rose, listening to her stage of her music. This is the music from Alpha 3 for you non-old head playing Street Fighters, but um, this felt like old Capcom. Now, this feels like the Capcom we love and a Capcom I grew up with, and I'm loving this. Her, her game mechanics are looking good. So as they're about to explain, you're gonna see that she's got, I think it's about four different cards that she can use and each of them give her a different ability. Sometimes in fighting games when characters have these type of mechanics though, it, it sometimes works against the character because to keep it balanced, they uh, make other areas weaker than others and sometimes when they give these characters these type of different varying abilities, um, it usually weakens the character overall in an effect to keep them balanced. I know that it seems like with Arc System, they like to make the character for the most part weak and then buff them up like in the case of Jiren, but in the case of uh, UI Goku, they started strong and buffed down. I, I personally like the uh, start strong and then buff later. Although the other way also makes the characters when you do the buffing later, it's almost like you get a new character. And I and I like that idea behind it. Anyway, so that's the type of character she is. Now when I first saw this vanish that she has, my immediate thoughts was, alright, what's the purpose of this? And then I thought, okay, she probably can combo into it, and then he started showing that she can combo into it. And I did have this immediate thought though when I first saw this, which was, man, this is a waste to put into this game now. If Street Fighter 6 is coming out in 2022, this is a waste to have come out right now. Because they put all these mechanics into this character, they added all these, I mean, I think a character like Rose, and all the stuff she's doing right now, this honestly should have been more season three stuff, right? Like these type of evolved characters, these wonderful stages, this music, this old classic Capcom feeling that would keep you playing for hours on end. I feel like this should have been more season three and four, right? But it took them five seasons to get here. Street Fighter V, just joking. Um... But overall, she looks good, and they and they went out to point out the way that they gave her different moves from other Street Fighter series, from Street Fighter Four, from Street Fighter Alpha, and one of her that looks kind of like custom combos from Alpha, from the Alpha series or Zero series, right? And I like that they gave her that, which is one of her unique moves. But uh, it's on point. It's very on point. They also did a, a battle, which you'll say I didn't include it here, and I made the video too long for me, but uh, they also put in, they let you see Rose versus Rose. It's really good. Um, so it's exciting, but it's like all this at the end of Street Fighter V's um, life, all of this hype and excitement, and maybe it's to do what it did, because they know that Street Fighter V had put a bad taste in a lot of longtime Capcom fans' mouth. And maybe they wanted to get that old hype, that old Capcom feeling back. Like, we're still the king of fighting games. We can still do this. And enjoy this better to come. But to drop these five new characters, these new stages, these new game mechanics, and whoever this guest character is, and then come out with Street Fighter Six in 2022, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I don't see it. They could. But I don't even think it's a good business practice. Maybe mid-22. Or, but more than likely, I'm thinking 2023, 2024. But, uh, I mean, good job on this. Absolutely. They did a great job. And the next thing we're going to see here, they dropped a nice surprise on us. We're going to take a look at that, too. Yeah, this was kind of hype, for sure. 
and you look at her moves, I think they did an excellent job of changing this character into a Street Fighter character from Rival Schools. I mean, they, they really did a great job. You look at her move series, and I remember the way she plays. They did a really good job of transferring her style of play and move set in the Street Fighter. And again, this is exciting. This is great. Look at that. I love to see a, a little Chung Lee beef with her and Akira. I wonder how they're gonna balance out all these multi-hitting moves. Is she gonna do low damage or is she gonna be stronger? Anyway, this is 255, giving you the lowdown, Street Fighter 5 Spring update. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. Are you hyped for this new content? Are you even buying it? Are you going to get back into Street Fighter? Or maybe you're still playing with Dragon Ball Fighter Z? Yo, this is DeepMind255. Out. One.